Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I will show you my Echeverian Opalina collection. If you like what you see, please hit the like button and subscribe for more. I got my first Opalina from a local nursery. This is the plant. Although it was very, very green, the color green is very similar to this one. It's that green. It's not Opalina, it's a different plant, but the color is very similar at that time. Although it's green and healthy, the vegetable like green color is not uh, truly desirable at least to me. So I changed the potting mix into a 30% peat, 70% sand, and the gravel mix for better colors and size control. Now it has shorter, fuller leaves, and the plant has a pretty pinkish purple color even though the color is still not the best, but right now it's August. So in the summer weather in Toronto, the plants are in active growth. So you will not be able to get uh, the beautiful red color until the temperature is getting cooler. This small opalina is from a leaf of the first plant, which I just showed you. It is still very green, with just a hint of pink at the tips. My mix is 40% peat, 5% vermiculite, and 50% diatomite and gravel. I give it more peat to encourage it to get bigger and stronger. I love how its colors change with different conditions, such as different temperatures, lights, and moisture. I may not change it into a bigger pot because if it stays in a smaller pot, it is easier for it to get the beautiful pink red color when the temperature is getting cooler. Otherwise, it will just get a lot bigger. This plant was sold to me as a Opalina hybrid from a private seller. It always had a nice color because it came as a very small plant. I grow it in a small, well-draining pot with 30% peat and 70% sand and a gravel mix. This spring, uh, this pot actually is not the original pot that I use. It came as a bare-rooted plant. This is a bigger plant than the original. The reason is because it is growing and do you see the growth has split into two different ones. So it is getting bigger. As you can see, many of my plants are potted in very small pots. They are amazing with their colors and the compact shapes. Why? The reason is because succulents, they don't need a lot of uh, potting mix and they don't need a lot of uh, water. They love light and love to be totally dried out between watering. So, which one is your favorite? 
please let me know. And remember, like and subscribe for more succulent content. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.